Hello everyone, this is Abbebe Chukala from IG Delft. This lecture video is on concept and application of water productivity. Globally, the demand for food feed and fiber is increasing. The competition for finite water and land resource is also rising. On the other hand, climate change is affecting water availability and soil degradation is reducing land productivity. Thus, the need to increase land and water productivity is uninvitable. Water productivity is defined as output per unit of water consumption. The output can be expressed as biophysical, which is biomass, grain, meats or protein. Or it can be expressed in the form of how much money generated or how much employment created. Water consumption refers to the seasonal water use, which is the sum of transpiration plus evaporation of the soil water and interception from the start to the end of crop season. It consists of beneficial fraction, which is transpiration, and non-beneficial fraction, which is evaporation. The seasonal water consumption can also be separated into the green and blue water consumption. The green water consumption is evapotranspiration from green water, which is effective precipitation in the crop root zone. The blue water consumption is evapotranspiration from the blue water, which is effective irrigation in the root zone from surface water or end groundwater source. If there is shallow groundwater, the fraction of blue water consumption can also take place from capillary water joining the root zone. Biomass or crop yield which is used to define land productivity can be calculated from the photosynthesis process. The maximum net primary production is a climate limited production which is defined by incoming radiation temperature, carbon dioxide concentration, minus carbon lost from autotrophic respiration. The actual net primary production is calculated by multiplying the maximum net primary production by the fraction of absorbed photosynthetic active radiation. Also factors such as the light use efficiency of the crop and stresses that include soil moisture and other biotic and abiotic stresses. The seasonal net primary production is the sum of the actual net primary production from start of the season to end of the crop season. Above ground biomass is derived from the, the seasonal net primary production by first correcting the net primary production using the moisture content of the fresh biomass. Then multiplying by the light use efficiency factor, which is the ratio of light use efficiency of the crop that the biomass is going to be calculated over the light use efficiency of the crop where the NPP is derived from, which could be often the C3 crops. Then finally multiplied by the above over the total biomass fraction. Finally, the crop yield is calculated by multiplying the above ground biomass 
with the harvest index. Evapotranspiration can be calculated as a residual of energy balance. This method for estimating evapotranspiration, which is widely used in the satellite method for ET estimation, are grounded in the theory behind the surface energy balance model, where available energy at the surface from the short wave and long wave radiation is balanced by fluxes from the surface heating or sensible heat flux and exchange of water vapor. Many applications of water productivity concept can be listed. It can be used to compare productivity of water resources across space and time. That is in different parts of the same system or in a river basin. It can be used to compare productivity of water in different sectors, example agriculture versus other possible use of water, such as industry. The concept can be used to compare the performance of a system with others or with the same system over time. The good example is irrigation scheme. It can help to assess progress against strategic goals such as sustainable development goals 6.4 and 2.3, which are related to water use efficiency and productivity. The concept can be used to assess impact of interventions, for instance, to examine effect of irrigation strategy, meter technology on water productivity and land productivity. To assess the general health of a system by comparing with the reference or benchmark which are set to a certain crop to a system or in a region. Overall, water productivity concept can be used to improve system operations, resource use efficiency, and assist performance-oriented management. The key principles for improving water productivity across scales under rainfed or irrigated conditions include primarily increase the marketable yield of the crop per unit of water transpired and reduce all outflows example drainage seepage and percolation if this water is of no use downstream or if it generates further pollution for instance due to geological salt leaching and also decrease evaporative outflows other than the crop stomata transpiration and increase the effective use of rainfall, stored water and water of marginal quality such as recycled wastewater and brackish water. Thank you very much for listening to the video lecture.